Hey guys, welcome back. It's Fulcrum Bricks here. Today I'm going to be telling you guys 10 sets, 10 Lego Star Wars sets that are going to be retiring in December 2022, so this year. I'm going to be telling you guys which ones you should be buying and yeah, which ones are the best ones to pick up before they're gone. So we'll get into which set I have first here. So the first set is the Boa Fett helmet is retiring this December. So it comes with 625 pieces and it is set 75277 for ages 18 plus. So this is a great helmet set, probably one of the best ones they made. Uh, if you haven't gotten it yet, I recommend it. I personally don't have it, but I've heard I've seen it in person and it looks really cool. So the second set I have on the list here is the Yoda um, buildable figure kind of thing. Uh, and it is set 75255 and it is for ages two and up, or sorry 10 and up and it has 1771 pieces so it's got a lot of pieces in it uh, I'll give it that and it looks really great as a display on your shelf or on a desk or anything like that uh, but it also comes with that Yoda figure and if you don't have that it's a good way to pick that up and get a good display or something but yeah that's an awesome set to pick up and it looks great the eighth set we have on the list here today is the Mandalorian armor is Mandalorian forge and it is eight for ages eight and up and it is seven five two seven seven I believe and it, it has 258 pieces and this comes with three minifigures so you got the Mandalorian the Forger and I forgot what that guy's name is but yeah it comes with him and uh, so yeah three Mandalorians good character selection there uh, but yeah it's a great build uh, good for kids I would say maybe not as much of a display set as that last one like Yoda and Boba Fett but it is a great set and it's gonna be gone soon so if you want it pick it up but it's not the, if you don't pick up this set, it's not like it's the end of the world. It's not the greatest set, but, but yeah. So on, moving on to number six, I believe. We got the Duel on Mandalore set. So this is for ages seven up, and it is seven, five, three, one, zero. And it has 147 pieces in it. And the two minifigures are Ahsoka and Darth Maul, both with their lightsabers, um, both probably the greatest minifigs for both of those. Uh, maybe for Ahsoka there's better ones, but that Darth Maul figure is just really... Uh, like it's just really awesome uh, compared to past Darth Maul figures. And it also comes with the little Jedi prison chamber. And also comes with the throne on Mandalore. So uh, I recommend getting that set if you don't have it yet. It comes with two amazing figures uh, for really cheap, and then if you don't care about the pieces, you could just use them and build something else with them. But ultimately, that's probably one of the best sets that came out in that wave. So yeah, moving on to the fifth set here on the list. I got the AAT, also known as the Armored Assault Tank. Uh, lots of people have had mixed reactions with this set. Um, for reasons like the cannon is too long on the top there and the just the proportions of the set is not accurate enough um, I personally have this set and I before I got the set I was eerie on it because I didn't know what it would be like but uh, it's kind of grown on me you know the, uh, the set is definitely not as accurate as it should be but if I didn't have any Separatist stuff before the set, so picking it up was nice because now I have a Separatist tank, so but yeah, if you don't have this set, you could definitely pick it up. But yeah, it's got 286 pieces, and for ages 7 up, and it is 75283. And it's got four minifigures, a pretty great selection, I would say. Uh, I think they could have included maybe a few more 332nd Troopers or Ahsoka Troopers, um, 
just because you only get one in the set, and that's the only set that has it. Uh, which kind of sucks because you have to buy a ton to get that guy, unless you go to Bricklink or something. But it can get pretty expensive to get that one figure. And you just get a bunch of uh, Ahsoka, tr Ahsoka minifigures if you just kept buying that set. But uh, And then it also comes with ah Ahsoka, of course, and two uh, battle droids. It says one of them is a battle droid and one is a pilot or 8AT driver, but it doesn't really make sense because of the exact same battle droid, but but yeah, that's a great set, uh, depending on how you like the set, if you want it or not, uh, it's up to you, but yeah, if you want to pick it up before it leaves, now is the time to do it, uh, or at least before December, so that you can pick it up. So moving on to the, sorry, now, now is the fifth fifth uh, set here. So we got the Mandalorian Starfighter, which is for ages 9 and up, and it is set 75316, and it's got 544 pieces, and it's got three minifigures, and these minifigures are, like, the best Mandalorian figures to this day, I would say. At least the Mandalorian Loyalist. Compared to the one in, I don't remember which year it was, 200, 2000... 12 maybe I want to say that battle pack set with all those characters all those Mandalorians um, this one is such an upgrade to those ones and also that Gar Saxon uh, minifigure looks incredible and the Bo-Katan Kreese minifigure uh, overall this set looks pretty magnificent uh, I have it and I really like the blue on this ship and the size is pretty good Compared to the one prior to this set is, I'm not sure if it's better. Uh, the older one might be better because it's, I think it's a little bit bigger and maybe has more interior to it and more space. But I mean, this one looks pretty good on shelf too. It's a good display set. It's also good for kids. It's got some play features and stud shooters, that kind of stuff, and the wings all move. So, But yeah, if you don't have this set, it would be a good idea to pick it up before it's gone. So moving on to number four, we got the Imperial Light Cruiser, or Moff Gideon's Light Cruiser. So this has, this is for ages 10 and up, and it is 75315, and it has 1,336 pieces. And this set has five minifigures, and six if you include Baby Yoda, or Grogu. So yeah, it's got Grogu, the Mandalorian, Cara Dune, Fennec Shand, Moff Gideon, and the Dark Trooper. Uh, these minifigures is a good selection. Uh, it maybe not for a big set like this. It could have added like a few stormtroopers, maybe just to, or added more dark troopers just to add it, add more to the set kind of thing. But the Moff Gideon figure and the Fennec Shand. Uh, I guess the Moff Gideon one and the Dark Trooper are exclusive to that set before the Dark Trooper hallway set came out, but uh, but yeah, the character selection is quite great if you don't have those guys yet. But the ship overall, like I personally don't have this set, so I can't say too much about it critical, but I, I've seen it in person at my friend's house, and the size of it isn't, I don't know, it's, something doesn't seem right about the set. Maybe it's the maybe it's too small maybe the cannons on the front are too big i'm not too sure but i just don't like the interior on the set either the interior on the set is lacking i feel like uh maybe lego just couldn't add any more just because of how small it is maybe i'm not too sure but i feel like this like this set would look good on display i might pick it up i'm not too sure but yeah i think it maybe is more directed towards kids because it's got a lot of play features in it um, with those TIE fighters and all that but uh, but yeah if you don't have this set or if you don't have any like big imperial ship uh, I would definitely recommend this set because it is a uh, a giant imperial fleet ship so I do recommend buying this set before it's gone but if you don't like it then of course don't pick it up so moving on to number three, top three here, 
uh, to pick up. We got the Bad Bat Shuttle. So this is for ages 9 and up. Set number 75314. And it's got 969 pieces. Uh, so it's got 5 minifigures, 6 if you include the Gonk Droid. Uh, technically not a figure, but yeah. So yeah, it's got the all five Bad Batch members, except Omega, of course, which was kind of a mistake, but then they released her later, but yeah, we don't have to get into that. Uh, but yeah, it's got, the man, the Bad Batch figures look incredible. There's some flaws in some parts, but overall, I think the Bad Batch figures look really good in this set. Um, and the ship looks really good, too. There have been some, like, mixed feelings about it because the color is totally wrong it's supposed to be gray not late blue sand blue but uh, I think it's not that bad it still looks really good on display and the interior is pretty nice too and those speeders uh, those speeders are really nice as well the builds on those I do feel like the speeders was a way to put extra pieces into the set to make it more expensive I feel like they could have like added more to the ship, but I f overall, it's a great set. One of my favorites, and uh, yeah, if you don't have this one yet, I definitely recommend picking it up because Bad Batch Season 2 is coming out this fall, and it won't be out for much longer this set, so if you don't have it yet, I do recommend picking it up. It is a great set with great minifigures and a great build. So moving on to number 2, I got the Imperial Armored Marauder. And it is for ages 8 and up, set number 75311, and it's got 478 pieces. So this set is probably one of the best sets in this wave from, I think it was, I think it was last summer, or two summers ago. But the character selection on this set is just wonderful. Like, you get three Stormtroopers and older um, Grief Karga, and uh, usually you'd get three normal Stormtroopers, but no, they gave us an artillery stormtrooper which is so cool because we've never had one like that before totally new stormtrooper and also the I have the set and the interior on the set is crazy you can fit like I think it was five minifigures in it or something because it's got like one seat in front two in the middle one in the back I think it's three in the, the middle or something like that but yeah it's insane and the it's at $50, I think, in Canadian, and uh, it's definitely worth your money, this set. But yeah, it's uh, it's also got lots of openings into the set as well, and it's really good on display, this set. Uh, it's also good for kids, lots of place features, and like I said, the seating, the interior is good for kids to play with. Um, if I had this as a kid, I would have loved it. And I mean, if you got a ton of them and made like a army of stormtroopers with it, it would look incredible. Also, you can buy this set to army build your stormtroopers also because it's got quite a few. But uh, yeah, that's one of my top three there. So moving on to the number one set that you should pick up that's retiring this year is the 501st Battle Pack. Now this set is one of the best sets that came out in the like last few years like this set is like awesome like I think I bought two of them and I still want to buy more just to have more 501st clones but, but yeah this is like the Lego community has been asking for this set for a long time or at least Lego Star Wars community and Lego finally did it and they gave us two vehicles the Bark Speeder and the or 501st Bark Beater and the ATRT. Uh, both incredible builds. Maybe not the most accurate sizes, but in today's like standards, I guess, with LEGO, it, it's a really awesome set. Like It's got four 501st clones with the Jet Trooper, of course, uh, as one of those. But then they gave us two battle droids. So it's not just a battle pack. It's a... Uh, yeah, it's like a... Uh, enemy forces battle pack I'd guess you say like those older sets where they had the Hoth battle pack versus the snow trooper battle pack it's kind of like that in one set almost 
but uh, if you do not have this LEGO Star Wars set yet, and you are like on the fence about buying the set, uh, I definitely recommend buying this set, because you are going to regret it if you don't. Uh, like, yeah, like I said, I want, I still kind of want to buy some more of this set just to, you know, because we'll probably never see 501st Storm or Clone Troopers ever again. Maybe we will. I'm not too sure what Lego is gonna do in the future, but this is like a definite pickup if you're on the fence about this set. And if you love the Clone Wars, this is like the perfect set for you. Um, but yeah, that was my top 10 retiring sets this year that you should pick up video. I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I hope hope I help you guys um, decide which sets to pick up. And uh, if you were on the fence about any one of them, uh, I'm definitely still on the fence if I should pick up more. But uh, but yeah, well. See you guys on the next video. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, and we'll see you guys on the next video.